hello my dear students welcome to my channel learning hub in my previous video i covered uh, arithmetic operators in which one negative number arithmetic was remaining so agenda for this video is uh, telling you about negative numbers how python uh, interpret negative numbers so if we talk about simple addition subtraction multiplication and division then no problem uh, it will be as usual like suppose i am adding a minus 2 plus 3 python will evaluate it to 1 that is normal addition if i have written minus 2 minus 3 answer will be minus 5 if i am writing minus 2 into minus 3 answer will be 6 if i have written minus 6 divided by 2 answer will be minus 3 if i have written minus 6 divided by minus 2 answer will be 3 so these all operators can be used easily while handling negative numbers now confusion arises when we have to find mode of some negative number suppose minus 10 divided by 3 what will be the mode so how python evaluates this um, before telling about this thing i'll tell you what is floor function floor function is a function suppose i have written 4.33 so floor function this value lies between 4 and 5 so this will return the lower value that is 4 suppose i have written floor 2.67 this value lies between 2 and 3 the floor function will return 2 so uh, and floor function is represented by 2.67 in this way it is represented when we write it so uh, when we evaluate mode of two numbers we have to use this floor function so the formula which which python uses to find mode of any negative number or any number is suppose a mode b is equal to a minus floor of a divided by b into b this function is used to calculate mode of any number now we'll take example example 1 suppose i want to evaluate minus 10 divided by 3 so how it can be done in this case this is a and this is b this whole will be considered as a and this will be considered as b so how it will be evaluated so minus 10 mode 3 is equal to minus 10 minus floor of minus 10 divided by 3 into 3 so that is equal to minus 10 minus now floor of 10 divided by 3 the value of 10 divided by 3 is 3.3 3, 3, 3, 3 in negative and any negative number for this negative number falls between minus 4 and minus 3. So as floor division returns the lower value, so the output will be minus 4 into 3. That is minus 10 minus minus 12. So answer will be 2. So mode of this equation will be Two. We'll take second example. Suppose I have taken the divisor as negative number. In this case, this will be positive, this will be negative, and this will be negative. Ten minus. In this case also, it will return the lower value that is minus 4 multiplied by minus 3 that is plus 12 so answer will be minus 12 now this thing i quickly demonstrate on my laptop 
so my dear students now i will demonstrate negative number arithmetic through a program i have already written a program for you right click edit with ideally and edit with ideally this will open my program first i'll run this program then i'll explain the lines one by one shift this to run it function f5 now this is the output very first line was printing the very first line was to print uh, minus 3 plus 5 you can see this and uh, minus 3 plus 5 so the output will be minus 3 plus 5 you can see here uh, this one is the first line minus 3 plus 5 it is normal arithmetic that would result in 2 second one minus 3 plus minus 5 both the numbers are negative it will add the two numbers sign of bigger number that is the sign of 5 so it will return minus 8 then mod operator i have already explained uh, if we are using simple positive number 10 divided by 3 and the remainder is 1 that will be printed now come to negative number this i already explained on the board how it is calculated you can see the output is positive 2 uh, means if divisor is um, positive and dividend is negative in this case output is 2 similarly if suppose divisor is negative and dividend is positive this also i showed you on my board uh, the output is minus 2 similarly if both are positive both are negative in that case the output will be minus 1 you can use the same formula and just cross check it so my dear students i hope you understood the concept of negative number arithmetic in my next video i'll cover relational operators and um, identity operators if you like this video please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon thank you and have a nice day Thank you.